If you've ever wondered how it feels to win a stage of the Unpost Ross, this is it. UCD's Owen Morton is the first Irish amateur to feel like this since the late Paul Helian in 2009. And boy, did he deserve it. Oh, man. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. The omens were good for an Irish day in Ireland's international stage race. We had a former Olympian, Kieran Power, in typically ebullient form as the best place county rider. And we had two locals in the top 10 on GC. That said, as they left Mullingar, very few predicted with any confidence that they'd be arriving in Charleville with a courageous Irish duo in front of the peloton. Morton made his move with 100 kilometers to go, his main aim getting to the only categorized climb of the day unhindered so he could retain the King of the Mountains jersey. Loud's Brian McChrystal made it across to him almost immediately and with a powerhouse like that in harness, the pair of them had built a remarkable seven minute lead as they approached the climb at Chalee. Morton secured the jersey, but with that huge time gap, suddenly his ambitions had changed. The focus now was on whether he and McChrystal could stay away and contest the stage win between them. The pack eventually got organised for the chase and the race was really on. Anxious moments for the eager crowd in Charleville as the gap closed dramatically in the closing kilometres. As they hit the outskirts of the town, it was down to 20 seconds. Morton and McChrystal knew they would make it and a double act became a duel. McChrystal blinked first, but the drag up to the main street took its toll, and he couldn't hold off Morton, who got round him and accelerated away. A cruel finish for McChrystal, who came close to an epic solo breakaway last year too, but Morton was in raptures. Dreamland. Cannot believe that. Stage in a rafts for a lad who has a job. You cannot, you can't say anything else. For myself and Brian, I have to say, hats off to Brian, he's unbelievable. Pervis just said we'd ride as honest as we possibly could and we took it to the line. I'm so happy. And you're still in the mountains jersey, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going for today. I just wanted to get out of the bunch and pick up more points for that because, you know, wearing a jersey in the Ross is unbelievable, but taking the stage, wow. Simply wow. What a day for Owen. Four seconds the difference between him and Brian McChrystal at the line and it was just 11 seconds to the chasing pack. In there, it was another strong day for Impost Chain Reaction, who had three riders in the top 10. Brian McChrystal's barnstorming break with Morton wasn't enough to get him the race leader's jersey, but he came close. Another 16 seconds ahead of the bunch, he'd have made it. As it is, it's as you were. Taco van der Hoorn is still in yellow, but it was amateurs Morton and McChrystal who owned the day. I started thinking about the jersey really probably at 5k. I rode as hard and as honest as I could, but, you know, I just don't think it's to be. Not much chance for Brian to try again tomorrow. There are 1,400 metres of climbing on stage three, including the Category 1 Connor Pass, which is inside the final 10 kilometres. Race starts on Main Street in Charleville at 11 o'clock.